hello guys you're welcome back to this safety channel so on today's episode we are here to do introduction to microsoft office word so one of the difficult software that most people find it very difficult to learn or to use it in this video we are going to learn it from a to z so if you are finding difficulties in microsoft office word this is the introduction to microsoft office word and we are going to explore all the basic settings all the tools the uses of these tools all ribbons so let's get right into the video. So please do me a favor. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please do me a favor by subscribing. Share for others to also benefit. So with Microsoft Office Word, when you open this, this is the interface. So we have blank document over here. We have I guess sensi letter and a whole lot of templates for which you can use it. But in today's episode, we are going to we are going to look at the interface of the Office Word. So let's quickly go to blank document. So when I click on blank document, it's going to open like this so as soon as it opens we have a whole lot of toolbars over here and within the toolbar we have ribbons so let's go right into the interface so over here we have here where the page number appears the number of words also the language is also over here we also have the read mode we have web print layouts and and we have the zoom over, uh, also over here so at the toolbar over here we have file we have home we have home tab we have file tab we have insert tab we have design tab we have layout we have references we have mailings we have review we have view and we have developer for the developer mode if you are a new user it might not appear but i'll show you how we are going to activate it so in today's video let's go let's go into it with a home tab so with a home tab when you come here we have the clipboard we have the clipboard ribbon so in, within the clipboard ribbon we have the cut we have copy we have format painter and we also have paste so it always appear let's say if you type something and you want to copy you can quickly highlight it and you can either copy or you can cut it or you can use the shortcut so the shortcut for copy is ctrl c and also the shortcut for cut is ctrl x and also if you let's say i use ctrl x and i cut it and i want to paste it anywhere that i want i can use ctrl v quickly then i'll paste it wherever i want right let's get into the video please if you have, if you have any question you can send it at the comment section and you'll be answered so at the font ribbon also we have bold so bold works like let's say you are typing any any work but you want to bold in it first of all this is how to work with it you can highlight the b then you start typing it will be in bold or you finish typing then after that let's say this is the work that i finished so after I finish typing you highlight it then you choose what board and the shortcut for board is ctrl b we also have italics italics is also if you are typing the same thing so when you ctrl i the shortcut for italics is ctrl i yes so let's continue we have underline also we have also underline so underline also the shortcut for underline is control u so right now if you are typing your work and you want it to be underlined you can first finish typing with it and you use the underline that is control u let's continue we have strike through strike through also works like let's say if you have your work here and you want to strike through just highlight it then you click on the strike through it will be strike through as you are seeing on my screen okay so let's continue with this video so we also have we also have the subscript the subscript so the subscript work like let's say you have five subscript too so after clicking after typing the five then you click on subscript then you, you click you type the two so it come like this that is five subscript or two okay let me delete it so we also have superscript the superscript work this way let's say nine to the power two so to the power is superscript so you click on the superscript then you type the number so this is how it works let's continue with our video we also have font increase over here we have font decrease over here so right now if i type one if i type one two three four and i want to increase it i can highlight it like this then i'll use this one i'll use this one to increase it that is the increase font we also have decrease font over here and guys we have a shortcut for the increase and also the decrease font of it you can click on control and plus this arrow so i'll put the arrow on the screen yeah so you can quickly increase it or decrease it how you want it okay so this is how it works okay so let's continue we also have the font type over here so when you click in it you have 
so many font related font here and you also have the font size also over here so whatever font that you want you can quickly click on it and you use it okay let's continue so we have the we have the change case over here so right now assuming i i type a b c d and i want it i want the first one to be capital the rest will be small i can quickly come to change case then i'll click on capitalize each word it will be like this as we've seen if i want all of them to be uppercase i'll come here then i'll click on uppercase so right now this is how these tools works and these are the meaning of it someone sometimes you open the word you see this tools in the office word but you didn't you don't even know how to use it i'm just teaching you how you can use it so please if you have any question if you are facing any difficulties just put it at the comment section and i'll answer you okay let's continue with our work let's continue with our tutorial so over here you can choose target case so target case work like like this so let me click on target case yes so this is how it works okay so we have the lower case which work like this we have the upper case we have sentence case yes so assuming i type coffee coffee is going 